I'm Jason Schenk here at the CPI Training Center again, uh, talking a little bit more about medical gases. Uh, medical gases, again, is for the health and safety of everybody, but uh, there is a lot of education and training and experience somebody has to have before they're allowed to actually install these medical gases. So it's that superior training, it's the, uh, the quality of construction that you're looking for, which gives the end user of these medical gases uh, in the hospitals and dentist office the ability to have confidence that they're going to give it good uh, patient care to their outcomes. So there's a couple different uh, things that you have to do in order to actually install these medical gases. Um, there's a standard or a code that's out there called NFPA, which is the National Fire Protection Agency 99. Um, this is the code that is written by the fire protection agencies in order to uh, install and maintain systems in a medical gas uh, facility that's going to be do that. With also that as a standard that is written by the American Society of Sanitary Engineering, which then qualifies your installer, your maintenance personnel, your inspectors, your verifiers for these medical gases. Um, and everybody has to have a certain level of competency and qualification in order to sit through the class. And then they also have uh, a certification that is hands-on and also written that they have to pass. And then every three years when a new code cycle comes out for the NFPA, uh, there is a recertification test for all the changes and, and any updates that have happened as they go through. So if you have any questions, if you need medical gas uh, install or, or training, please contact uh, cpitrainingcenter.com.